only half of the fit so near to the seat. First time in business class. Yeah. <laughs> so they are doing the floor now. Uh, then how? Luna. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous. Yeah. I hope I can see myself. In two days, my mom is coming to Singapore! She will be flying from KK to Singapore on the 21st of November and arriving at 2.30 in the afternoon. So I will probably bring her to like Jewel or something or somewhere nearby to eat. I'm not sure how much things she's bringing but I hope it's not much so that we can like walk around. In the middle of this year, I went back. I haven't seen her since then. I was thinking to go and visit my new place. Under renovation now but it's about 80% done. Most of it is done, just the flooring is not done yet. I'm pretty excited! The reason why she's coming here is because we are flying to Melbourne on the 23rd of November at midnight. We're flying by Scoot and business class because I wanted to experience it and it was definitely cheaper than flying with Singapore Airlines premium economy and I wanted my mom to experience like a bigger seat, more leg room. It's a medium haul flight going to Melbourne about six to seven hours so quite long i want her to be comfortable at the same time i do not want to break the bank i'm the one paying for her ticket so i feel that this good flight was good enough and flying business class i think should be good lah it's not gonna be like the legit business class but at least it's more comfortable than sitting down in economy class for six to seven hours i hope my mom will like it that's the least i could do all these years of me flying with singapore airlines i never gotten the chance to bring her around and travel the world at the same time, it's because my mom is quite an anxious traveller. She don't really like to travel a lot. My dad is also not keen on travelling, so I haven't been able to bring my parents for holiday. When I was planning this trip to Australia, I realised that, hey, maybe I can use this time to pay for her tickets and her experience travelling in a premium class for the first time. Never mind, mommy. One day, I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> One day, if I ever become rich or when I have more money or well-to-do, probably let her experience business class in like other airlines and maybe more premium airlines. Yeah. I'm waiting for my mom now. She's going to arrive soon. It's 2 o'clock on the 21st of November today. I just checked the app, the iChangi app. Her baggage belt is already out. She just left like a few minutes ago. She will be arriving at... 3.55, it's only like 2 now. The baggage belt is already out. So early. The initial plan was to bring her back to my place. But then I realized that my husband has work tomorrow and our place is pretty small because it's a studio unit. So I guess we have to go and look at hotel, which I did yesterday, last minute. It's $89 per night. Okay lah, I mean it's a budget hotel. After that, I might bring her to my new place to see the renovation progress. I just want to show her my new place because she's coming all the way from KK. I don't know how often she's going to come here. Yeah, we'll see what we can do later. But I'm pretty excited for her to come because it's been a while since her last visit to Singapore. I'm going to head off soon. I'm going to head over to the hotel in a while so that I can put my bags. So I want to leave it there first before I go and pick up my mom. And then we're going to do our things and head back to the hotel. The check in is at 3 o'clock but I'm going to try my luck and go there early and check in earlier. I'm going to leave my bags there and then go pick up my mom. Then tomorrow we're going to fly to Melbourne and I'll be staying there from the 23rd till the 29th. Just one week. And then after that, I finally officially start work at my new workplace. I'm pretty excited. I can't wait for next year. There will be a lot of changes and can't wait to share it with you guys but I still cannot say it yet <laughs> because it's not confirmed. I just reached the hotel. Going up to the 6th floor. Since this hotel stay is impromptu and last minute right, I had a budget of less than 100 and I booked this hotel. This place is called Ibis. Ibis? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce I-B-I-S budget pearl. You know how much? It's only $83 per night and I'm actually quite shook. Like, it's quite good for $83 but I don't want to say too early because at the moment, the place looks decent. I mean, I'm not expecting much. It's only $83 per night and I can check out late tomorrow at 1pm. Let me show you the room. Here's the toilet. Not bad. I mean, it's decent. <laughs> the soap is provided in a dispenser. And this is the room. It looks it's actually not bad. They even have kettle here for hot water and some coffee tea. Okay, like they don't have a fridge, never mind. But everything else is good. 
Now it's 3.15. I think I'm gonna make a move and head towards the airport now. But it's raining. I'm gonna see how am I gonna go to the airport later. Ah, I don't wanna be late. So I'm walking to the MRT now. And then I'm going to head to Changi Airport. So it's gonna take about an hour from the reach. Heading to Aljuni MRT. I've never explored this area before. It's like so new to me. Finally arrived. Delay, yeah. Delay. They have some Super Mario stuff around the vicinity. Super Mario. So cute. Our food is here. Makan. Camera. Good morning. We stayed a night over at this hotel and we love it. The aircon was cold. They have hair dryer. They have all the basic things. This is the cheapest room. I forgot what's the name but I'll flash the, the name of the room on the screen. It's suitable for people who just want to sleep and then head out and not stay in the hotel. This is one of the best budget hotels that I've ever been to and I recommend. Not sponsored but I recommend it's so good. The bed is quite comfortable. The pillow is not so hard, it's just nice. The bed is not very hard also. The blanket, the thickness is just nice also. Everything is perfect, I, I feel. We love it. Totally recommend Ibis Budget Pearl Hotel. See your bags. We're going to head to my house in Pungol and then after that we're gonna have lunch and we're gonna head to my new place at the east side at Pasiris. I'm gonna show my mom the new house then we're gonna have dinner, head home again to Pungol and then we're gonna head to the airport. We need to be there by 10 o'clock because I want to see the waterfall display at Terminal 2. <laughs> so excited. Uh, what? The, shower. The, shower pressure, the water pressure is very good. Yeah, yeah it's very strong. Let me show you the water pressure. Damn! <laughs> yeah, that's how strong it is. I mean, how's your experience so far with this hotel? Very good. Very good. <laughs> Sponsor us. They have all the basic. Yeah. Uh, which I explained in the video already. Uh, okay. Water they have a water boiler. Yeah. That's my <laughs> main concern. <laughs> yeah. Water boiler is life, okay? <laughs> it's 11 30 now, we're going to head out soon. Supposed to check out at 1 o'clock, but I think we're going to check out early since we have a lot of things to do later. The late checkout is complimentary. The latest is 1 p.m. If not, you can just check out at 12. But I ordered chicken rice, the usual, and mummy is having porridge with uh, fish and what else? Egg, century egg and the uh, minced meat. Makan, how is it? <laughs> Simple food. Uh. <laughs> Makan. Yeah, my new place! Excited! Can't wait to see it. So they're doing the floor now. But this one is the balcony. Bar table we'll put here. Then this one is a recreational room inside there. Then here is a living room. Yeah, then here kitchen. And this is a toilet. It's all still very dusty. Yeah. The guest room. Master bedroom. There will be a mirror installed here. They installed the aircon already. Coconut drink. I mean, you like your coconut drink. Yeah, very nice. We just checked in our bags and now we're heading to Tokyo 2 for the waterfall display. Let's go, mommy, let's go. Yay! Nice. We're at Terminal 2. They just renovated. Let me show you. It looks so new. It's giving forest vibes. Wow! Got the sound effect some more. <laughs> Feels like it's a real waterfall. Only at E20. <laughs> this is our seat. First time in business class. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of leg space. The seats are quite wide, but they're comfy. It's 9:25 in the morning. Be for fun. For breakfast, she ordered Milo. They give her a cake. Okay, what kind of And I've ordered the whole fun as well. With coconut cheese. The meat is pretty big.
What is Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's like, no, mommy, I don't want. <laughs> I'm in Melbourne. I'm in my cousin's house, John and Yulu's house. So, this is the room that I'm gonna be staying in for the next few days. So I've got to like chill, do my stuff because they are currently working. Tomorrow is going to be the wedding and I'm just going to maybe lie down and rest and I'll see what I'll do later. <laughs> I'm not very hungry yet. The flight was pretty bumpy in the beginning. I really felt like I was not feeling well yesterday but today I feel okay. I had throbbing headaches yesterday but today no headache, thank god. Because tomorrow is the wedding so I don't want to get sick. I feel like a sore throat coming but I hope it doesn't come. And to reach to my cousin's place, it was about an hour by car. And then tomorrow the wedding will be another venue. But we're going to leave this place around maybe 11-ish. So hopefully everything will go smoothly tomorrow. I'm looking forward to meet all my cousins. <laughs> And pineapple fried rice. <laughs> Plus what? Tom yum. But it's quite a lot. Very big. I put my Carmen's protein bars. Yeah. Four different flavors. <laughs> Nervous. Yeah. I hope I can sleep also. And wake up early tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Hey. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah.